this class we work out one problem on symmetrical fault calculation for the circuit shown in figure when a three phase fault occurs at the generator terminal calculate the total current in the generator and the motor under fault condition and also calculate post fault generator current and motor current the generator rating is 11 kV 100 MeA Substantial reactance is J.3 Motor rating is 11 kV 50 MeA Substantial reactance is J.25 The motor drawing 40 MW 0.8 power factor leading with the terminal voltage of 10.94 kV This is the given data First step we choose base MeA and base kV Base MBA is equal to 100, base KV is equal to 11. Next, we have to calculate the per unit reactance of the generator and motor. Per unit reactance of the generator is given reactance value J.3 into V1 by V2. V1 is a given value, V2 is a chosen value into SB2 by SB1. SB2 is a chosen value, SB1 is a given value. J.3 into 11 by 11 the whole square into 100 by 100 that is equal to J.3. Similarly, motor reactance per unit reactance is J.25 into 11 by 11 the whole square into 100 by 50 that is equal to J.5. The line reactance is J.05 on 100 MeA base given. Next, we have to draw the reactance diagram that is a step 2. This is a generator reactance J.3, this is a motor reactance J.5, this is a line reactance J.05. Base current is equal to base MBA 100 into 10 power 6 divided by base KV root 3 into 11 into 10 power 3 that is equal to 5248.64 amps. Load current is equal to 40 megawatts is given 40 into 10 power 6 divided by root 3 into the voltage is given 10.94 into 10 power 3 power factor given 0.8 that is equal to 2638.71 amps. Now we can calculate per unit motor current that is actual value by base value actual is 2638.71 base is 5248.64 therefore per unit motor current is equal to 0.503 so per unit motor current IM is equal to 0.503 power factor is leading so cos theta is equal to 0.8 Theta is equal to cos inverse of 0.8, 36.87 degrees. So, 0.503 angle 36.87, this is in polar form. A convert into a rectangular form, motor current in per unit is equal to 0.402 plus J.302 per unit. Next, we have to calculate the motor terminal voltage. Per unit motor terminal voltage is equal to actual by base. Actual is 10.94, base is 11. Motor terminal voltage is 0.995 per unit. Step 3 we have to calculate the generator terminal voltage. Generator terminal voltage is equal to motor terminal voltage Vm plus drop. Drop is equal to motor current into line reactants. So motor terminal voltage is 0.995 per unit plus motor current is 0.404 plus J.302 line reactance is J.05 so generator voltage this voltage is 0.99 plus J.020 per unit so this voltage is the Thevenin's voltage next step we have to calculate the Thevenin's reactance Pre-fault voltage at the alternator terminals. This is the pre-fault voltage of the alternator terminals. That, that is the Thevenin's voltage. So X Thevenin's is equal to these two are in parallel. X Thevenin's is equal to J.3 into J.05 plus J.5. That is J.55. J.3 into J.55 divided by J.3 plus J.55. X Thevenin's is equal to 0.194 per unit. Now I get fault current IF is equal to V divided by X Thevenin's. V is equal to 0.98 plus J.020 
Exterference is J.194 Therefore, fault current IF is equal to 0.103 minus J5.052 per unit. The next we have to find that fault current supplied by the generator. By applying current division rule, we can find fault current supplied by the generator, fault current supplied by the motor. Fault current supplied by the generator IFG is equal to fault current into this reactance J.55 divided by total reactance J.85. Fault current supplied by the generator is 0.067 minus J3.269 per unit. Similarly, fault current supplied by the motor, fault current into J.3 divided by J.85, that is equal to 0.036 minus J1.783 per unit. Therefore, total fault current IF is equal to IFG plus IFM, that is 0.103 minus J5.052 per unit. The next we have to calculate the total post fault current. Total post fault current IG is equal to IFG fault current supplied by the generator plus the load current. Fault current supplied by the generator is 0.067 minus J3.269 plus load current 0.402 plus J.302. Therefore, total post fault current IG is equal to 0.469 minus J2.967 in rectangular form. In polar form, 3 angle minus 81 degrees in per unit. Now we can calculate the actual IG. Actual IG is equal to the per unit value into base. Per unit value is 3 angle minus 81 degrees. Base value is 5248.64. Therefore, Actual total post fault current IG is 15745.92 angle minus 81 degrees in amps. Similarly, total post fault current of motor that is IM is equal to IFM fault current supplied by the motor minus load current. So, fault, supply, fault current supplied by the motor is 0.036 minus J1.783. I is equal to 0.402 plus J.302. Therefore, total post fault current IM is equal to minus 0.366 minus J2.085. In rectangular form, in polar form, 2.12 angle minus 99.96 degrees. Now we can calculate the actual IM. Actual IM is equal to per unit value into base. Per unit value is 2.22 angle minus 99.96 degrees. Base is 5248.64. Therefore, total post fault current IM is equal to 11127.12 angle minus 99.96 degrees in amps. This way we have to work out this problem. Thanks for listening.